Hello and welcome back to part two of the Minimoto Bobber Chopper project thing. <laughs> um, yeah, the last video all I've done was sort of told you about it and stripped it down. So in this video, what, I'm gonna, what my plans are, I'm going to cut this bit of framework off. I'm only going to cut it roughly. I'm not going to cut it right up to the, you know, to the edge. Um, I'm just going to cut it so I've got something to play with and dress it up. I you know, do enough metal, metal on there to dress it. I'll have a look at it basically. Have a look at the shape and you know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to cut through here, cut through here, cut through here. So in it somewhere there. I ain't really marked it. I've just put a little mark so that I don't cut the wrong bit. <laughs> um, still playing with my broken tripod doing this one. I'm just waiting for the camera to fall off. <laughs> it seems like you're going on a bit of an angle. So I'm, I'm starting to wonder if you're going to fall off any second now. Right, I hope you can see from there. I'm just going to cut through this one, through this one here, just to see what they, what it cuts like. Um, yeah. Right, so I'm nowhere near where I need to be on the ends of these bars. I'm just sort of cutting it so we can get rid of the bulk of it so I'll never look. And then we can dress them bits up a bit later. That's the plan. Right, then to cut, I've got to cut through at an angle here, and I know you're going to cover in sparks there, so I'm going to whip the camera before I do that, and I'll do the other side because it's pretty boring listening to a grind of some sparks, isn't it? Yeah, we're back to the selfie stick. I just cut that, you know, the last bit of metal when I heard a fud as the camera fell off the tripod. So uh, we're back to the selfie stick, and uh, I've just rung Heidi up and told her to pop me Argos and give me a bloody tripod. It's just the easiest there on it, so um hopefully she'll get it sorted. Um I'll bring you up a bit closer to it without the bloody um selfie stick because I'll probably ask in in a second. But um yeah I've had one little balls up, I'll show you that i I'll show you that now, hold on. Alright, yeah, I've balls up there. I'll put another a new disc in it was a bit bigger and I just had a little bit more to cut off the back of that. I caught the frame. I'll fill it up with welding. It ain't right the way through. It's only, it, it looks probably worse on camera than what it is in sort of real life. Um, yeah, so I've left these bits on. Um, yeah, so that bit I took off. I'll show you. It's under the bench. Um, that's quite heavy. Um, I don't know where you're going to be able to see this because I don't know if going to be able to set it up. No. <laughs> Basically, if you sort of followed that bar, it'll end up going running down like that towards the back wheel. Obviously, the back swinging arm is going to be higher, or the back wheel is going to be higher. So, um, that's my next job is to take the shock off and I'll put a bit of wood in there, a bit of metal, and I can adjust it to where I want it. And obviously, I can leave that, you know, wherever I put it in there, I can leave why rebuild the back in the frame so I need to clean these up as well but um, I was looking at this, the engine and so I'm move back a bit and you can see it's tilting back quite a bit already and obviously once I put the back end it'll tilt back even more that's not too much of a problem for the actual engine being a two stroke but um, it's for the car what's the problem because obviously it's got a float chamber and it'll either flood all the time or it will not let petrol in depending on what way the float is around in the in the carb, you know, on the carb. So uh I've been thinking about it. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting a bar 
down from here under the engine underneath the engine mount and to here cut this bit of frame off so this ain't here um, and then obviously I can level the engine up but we'll add a bit of framework down here but obviously it would look a lot better because once you level this engine up there's going to be a big gap here and um, yeah and the other thing I don't, I don't think I just mentioned it but originally I was going to put the seat here but it will leave the back wheel out too far so I'm thinking now I'll put the seat back about here the seat pan and then obviously I'll bring some kind of mud guard up and this bracket will be cut off anyway because I won't need it that we probably won't need but I'll make another bracket up for the front of the seat because that's going to sit there and we'll cut the springs at the back of it if you understand what I'm saying, a bit close and uh, yeah with the white background and the silver ring behind it's just a seat in it hopefully it comes out okay but yeah, uh, so we, I would have done a little bit more on the filming, but it's a bit awkward we, when it wants a tripod um, <laughs> decided to drop the camera, at least the ruddy camera's okay. It's a bit noisy on the zoom, but... Yeah, um, if you want to comment on it, drop a you know, line below in the comments. I'll say this is the second video, the first video hasn't even gone up yet um, when I'm filming this, so you're probably a month behind I should think the time you get to see this um, but yeah drop a comment if you like it give it a thumbs up because that will help the video or will help the channel um, remember it's not about the bike as such it's more about playing with the tools and learning you know myself learning a bit of metal work and just try to open my brain up a little bit more and then uh, the plan is later obviously to have we're trying a full size bike so that's the plan later on and we'll see how we do it comes from helicopters so uh, you won't be here if bug all in a minute. But anyway, like I say, if you like this sort of stuff, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell, ding a ding a ding, and you'll get notifications of whenever I put a video up. There's other pro projects going on at the moment as well as this, so plenty, plenty more to come. Anyway, remember it's okay not to be okay, and I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye for now.